Oh my God. Welcome back and stuff. Okay. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watcher. I um people always cross watching. <laughs> It could be your auntie that got a bad vibe for y'all Sagittarius, okay? Please drop a like, share, comment, and uh, subscribe. I was talking about the hair. It's going to grow on me, the color. <laughs> How y'all doing and stuff? You know what I got for y'all and stuff? Because uh, you got the King of Swords and the Two of Wands. You all smarted somebody or you like, you know, you cleverly outwitted somebody, okay? A decision or you made the right decision, okay? So, uh, but I got Goldilocks and the three bears. Okay. I was tying that up with y'all. Remember how she was eating all the porridge and everything? Okay. Let's see what else going on here. Somebody can be talking about your food and stuff as well. All right. So one size do not fit all. Let's see what else going on, you guys. Somebody could be talking about y'all came into a huge amount of money or you mon um, you married into wealth. It could be a Virgo that's talking about y'all. Somebody could have said you ran away with their money or you got them for their money. All right. So let's see. The King of Swords is sitting up there with an owl and stuff. What's the gossip about you guys? <laughs> I was up there struggling with something, the moon card. Okay, so a lot of people are saying you're hiding some type of secret or there's a particular Pisces or a cancer talking about your mom or you're hiding um, your kid's mother. You're hiding something about your childhood here, okay? Somebody says it's a lot. You got, you know, either mummy issue or you got childhood wounds that you are hiding and stuff. Yeah, but these people are talking behind your back with the moon card. They're not saying it to your face. It could be your own mother that's talking about you, too. We got here the king of swords. Okay, somebody's talking about how you made a decision here. Yeah, so I said y'all did something that got y'all out of something as well. Um, for real. Somebody thought they had one up or you could have been an Aquarius that thought they had you in a chokehold or had you or a Scorpio and you managed to get out of something. Somebody could be talking about you met a Scorpio that changed your life, death, rebirth, and an ace of cups as well. Okay. Or the decision to read um to redo something or revitalize something worked out for you guys, rekindle something. Because the Ace of Cups and Death to me is like you guys uh, rekindled something that was dying and it worked out for you guys, okay? So you brought something back to life, a project, a person, a situation, all right? You transformed. People are talking about how you changed. Or you could have had a near-death experience as well. People could be talking about Four of Cups, okay? It could be somebody you rejected, a cancer that you um, that's talking about you guys. Uh, somebody could be talking about that you didn't get a home or you didn't get the offer that you were hoping for. Um, definitely somebody, um, somebody could be saying you're a starving artist and stuff and you're waiting to get something. There could be somebody that's waiting for you to change too, that's gossiping about you or telling people things about y'all. Six of Swords relocation, okay, and Four of Pentacles. So someone's saying that you guys are secretly holding money because what you're doing is you're planning on moving the tower with the Nine of Cups as well. All right, so someone said something blew up for you in a good way. And for some of y'all with the Tower and the Nine of Cups, some people saying that you had a like, a lot of sex partners and you end up catching the STD here too with the tower and the nine of cups. It go both ways and stuff. Uh, Scorpio Pisces definitely talking about y'all. It could be a Capricorn that's running their mouth about y'all because y'all decided not to give them no money or you decided to hold on to your purse or something about watching your pocketbooks or something. Somebody could say you have sticky fingers, sticky hands, watch your items around you as well. You could be habitual. When it comes to something. Also, some of y'all, if y'all are healers with 44 coming through, somebody is gossiping about your healing as well. Six of ones. The people are gossiping about how you want something, okay? Or so, you got something the hard way, but it's yours. You deserve it. All right, public notoriety as well. People are looking up to y'all. Could be a Leo that's talking about y'all or a Leo that's like cheering you guys on. Let's see what's going on here. Some of y'all is an auntie. Like I said, it's a family member. I got Auntie Bad Vibes, and then I got Auntie Nancy, too, for you guys. <laughs> and I got that good juju, okay? Um, so somebody's talking about you guys did something, put something on somebody, you whipped something up. <laughs> Keep on looking on me. We got hit a food card. Somebody also said you guys initiated something, but you regretted it soon after you did something. Somebody could be gossiping about that. You know, you always apologizing, but you never change or something. Somebody could also be talking about how they need to spiritually protect themselves against you guys or vice versa. You have to spiritually protect yourself against a Gemini 
or a Scorpio, okay? There, you are under spiritual attack. Somebody also feels sad or somebody has a fake apology coming through. You may hear some good news from a Virgo or a Virgo has said something positive about you guys, nine of Pentacle and the uh, ace of one. Somebody say you have a wonderful garden or you have a great sense of style. All right, um, you are very influ influential and a lot of people look up to you guys, okay? You're very smart and intelligent. All right, so we have here the three of Pentacles and the three of Cups. Okay, 33. There's a lot of gurus are talking about y'all. A lot of people that y'all work together talking about y'all. Um, some people could be talking about how you got a workplace affair that took place and stuff. <sighs> All right, so that could be the drama that's going on. Like you had a workplace affair um, going on, third party situation. All right, this could be good for your reputation or bad for your reputation. Some of them saying y'all step y'all way to the top with a Capricorn or a Cancer, or you got involved with a Capricorn and Cancer at your job. Could it be good publicity, but some of you guys, it was bad publicity. Or somebody said you mixing business with pleasure with the Three of Pentacles and the Three of Cups, okay? But these are people that um, either do the same job as y'all or they don't, okay? They just speculating on what y'all got going on. A lot of happiness, though. All right, <laughs> we had a tower, okay? Somebody definitely talking about your life went up in shambles or something um, changed in your life, okay? Or something tragic happened, like something unexpected happened in your life and people are talking about it with the tower keeps showing up. All right, we got here rage. Somebody pissed off at you, okay? Uh, somebody could have said that when you caught them, like somebody kind of got like <laughs> turned to stone, okay? Because they got busted red-handed. They say you the reason why they in trouble, I uh, rage. We got wounded healer and fierce love. Okay, could be a Leo, could be a Pisces. It um, we have fierce love and we got the wounded healer. Some people say that you guys um, y'all helping people that don't appreciate y'all. All right, you in a hard career that you got to help a lot of people heal through like traumas and stuff. A lot of people respect y'all. Some people say you should quit the job. It's too much for you as well. Um, it makes you mad or you get pissed off, okay, because people are fake or they false or people don't tell the truth about what's going on with them. So it's hard to heal liars and stuff is what I'm hearing. <laughs> I don't know how you're going to heal a lie. So that's what people are talking about. Like, y'all the only people that come to y'all with a situation, but I don't know. They could be lying about stuff because we got betrayal here. Some of y'all, y'all brothers running their mouth about y'all. Somebody saying, yeah, you guys are taking time to take your power back, cleanse yourself, get rid of people that don't serve y'all. Uh, some people are definitely gossiping about they either seeing y'all in a dream, y'all dream walkers, or y'all are trying to uh, battle your demons and stuff. Uh, we have here family curse. A lot of y'all family are talking about y'all. They got something about some type of wound or something that hasn't been healed or something that you are holding on to. It could be a long held grudge, okay, with your family, your husband, your kid. Use uh, the cleansing and restorative power of sea salt to remove any negative energy from your body or your home. So some people could say you lived in a cursed home or where you live, somebody died there as well. We got dream attack. You're under the attack of spiritual entities that are trying to defeat you in the astral realm. So a lot of people are talking about, yeah, y'all battling with y'all demons or people. And then we got family curse coming through. A lot of people are also gossiping about either your family is cursed or you broke a generational curse. Someone is using magic to place generational curse on your you and your family. So, you know, you could be repeating the cycle here or somebody feel like you're repeating something. Somebody also feel like they met you in a past life, okay? Or somebody gets a lot of deja vu with you, Sagittarius. Let's see what's going on. What people got something about you guys about the tea, baby? I say what you mean. So someone is either saying that you're blunt and direct and you usually uh, work, whatever you say you do or vice versa. When you say something, you usually don't follow through, okay? So someone is like doubting your words or something that you say here. Say what you mean. We got here sexual art. People are talking about either you're lying about the people you have sex with or you're lying about something. So a lot of people are talking about sex with you. It's really good. All right, we got alchemy. You changed something, okay? You transmuted something. We got a hole in the soul. We got help from above, and we got soulmate. Some of y'all, somebody that you once was with, they like uh, Sagittarius, like kind of damaged beyond repair. Um, somebody is saying, I feel like somebody is talking bad about y'all, but they love y'all sex or vice versa, okay? 
because we got a uh, transmission, okay, of sex, okay, kind of leaning sex, uh, the sexual art, alchemy, and then you got a hole in the soul, help from above, and soulmate, all right, because look, somebody said that you guys are like soulless, or you guys um, sold yourself out, or you sold somebody out, um, as well, some of y'all that somebody said you're looking for your soul, you're looking for salvation. Also, somebody is talking about how you came into their life when they was really down and out and stuff, and you helped them and stuff. It could be a good thing with help from above, or you have a it's like you believe in something only when it works for you, and when it don't work for you, you be like this and that belief and stuff. Hypocrite is what they call it. Is that what they call it? So some people say that you guys are like a hypocrite or they talk about how you guys, um, you are not fully committed to something, somebody or what you won't say what you mean. OK, do you believe in it or not? So your convictions are not strong. You can sway either way. All right. <laughs> Somebody they could be like a strong religious person that's talking about y'all like this is what I believe in. I won't. Um, I won't detour from this. And they say you guys do. Some of y'all people are talking about. uh <laughs> that you guys are um involved with the law or a nasty divorce or something like that. Ooh. Some of y'all people say y'all involved in witchcraft as well with the whole and soul. And some of you people are talking about either you guys been to a very abusive relationship. This is being gossiped about emotionally, mentally, physically, okay, spiritually, or you are that abuser, okay, with the girl being beat up in. I don't know what's on her head, stitches or something. Some people call you guys zombies, like you're a walking zombie as well. Like you don't, you need more sleep or stuff. We got here the staff. You'll be taking care in difficult time. Yeah, help from above. Uh, some people could have said you got a deadly disease or you almost died from something and you like so like miraculously you lived through something that could have been tragic is for, for what I'm saying. We got the staff. OK, some of y'all, too. I got staff infection when I seen that. But especially with these cards that's coming through, there's also two y'all. If y'all work for a team of people or a team of people work underneath y'all, they saying that they like being around you guys. You're very helpful and stuff as well. All right, but somebody helped you guys out or you helped somebody out and you were heaven sent to so say you're going to be taken care of. Dealing with a dark man, okay? Uh, dealing with a relationship with a man with dark complexion and hair. So people talk about your lover or the type of person you deal with, okay? They could be um, very handsome or they could be very devious or you like attracted to dark people with dark spirits, okay? Sociopath, psychopath, people could be talking about this or you guys got into a certain type of career, a lifestyle to allow you like a mortician, okay? Um, the more, okay, <laughs> I'm telling y'all, or where you bury people, you deal with a lot of uh, dark energy here. So it's a lot of times that you got to keep cleansing your soul because I told y'all, y'all got people that's around y'all in your energy that is like hard to heal and stuff with the wounded healer a lot of people say you're good at what you're doing because you've been through it and stuff and that's how you're able to teach we got rats okay some people are gossiping about y'all that was working behind y'all back to get y'all fired to take away your soulmate a lot of people say you miss your soulmate or you uh they could be talking about the person y'all with but we got someone who's working against you behind your back some people could be calling you a rat or saying somebody ratted you out okay um, if you were having any type of ex um, love affairs and stuff like this, there's a sneaky person here. I feel like for some of y'all, it's this auntie or this uncle or this family member that's talking shit about y'all, your own sister. You'll be receiving a gift, the box, okay? People could be talking about some type of gift you re um, receive as well, or you open up Pandora box when you said something, you did something, uh, you ratted somebody out, like the whole can of worms just exploded, okay? But you are um, going to get a gift here, and somebody talked about this gift that you're about to receive, okay? Some people say that your soulmate was a gift, like you met a person, and they changed your whole life, or vice versa, okay? We got here, the lion time to act, okay? Could be a Leo, okay? Uh, some of y'all, too, people talking about y'all dating life as well, okay? Um, some people say that you're lazy and you like your spouse to help or you like a uh, open relationship. Okay, you could be a polygamist. Lions usually have a bunch of lioness doing their work and stuff. So some of y'all this Leo could be saying this about y'all. We got the crown. A lot of people say you uh, a lot of people do respect y'all with honor and respect will come to you guys. Um, so there's somebody here that's behind y'all back trying to discredit y'all because a lot of people respect you because you're honest, straightforward, and upright. But there's like some weird shit going on in this reading too with rat and lion. So somebody could be trying to act out a, a scene or something. 
reckless behavior, intuitive. We got tanker. Okay. So I feel like y'all celebrating. People could be saying that you had a really good time as well. You, you achieved something grand in your life. And people are talking about that with tankered. All right. So celebration, fun, enjoyment. Somebody was trying to correct one of the things I was pronouncing. <laughs> I said, be nice or be blocked. Okay. So you know exactly what happened to that person. Okay. <laughs> Pronunciation. <laughs> Anyways, it represents sadness. Okay, ibbity, ibbity, op. Okay, we're gonna change that word. All right. So what's the next sentiment to um being like um wrath? I think I said wrath, okay, which is sadness, okay? You're gonna feel the wrath of somebody. We got here April. People be up there being rude. I just block their ass for real. I don't got time. April. <laughs> I even say sometimes I may not be able to pronounce this damn word, okay? <laughs> even if I'm confident, it could be uh uh, Aries or a tourist that's running a mouth about y'all. Okay, springtime is important here. Somebody could say, um, you guys had a wonderful time. It could be a um, I'm hearing childhood lover, summer lover. We got September, it could be a Libra or a Virgo talking about y'all. These are significant months where something may have happened. Um, you um got something, celebrated something, did something wonderful as well. I'm hearing cherry blossoms. Okay, the bag. Okay, you got a job. Okay, somebody talking about your money and how you know how to get the bag or you guys are like, um, hopefully not no criminals, but it's like something such as porn as a job or a rag. But some of y'all, people think uh, with the rat, y'all ratted somebody out to get a position. For other you guys, you did the hard work and stuff with the six and one. It just depends on what side you fall on. Somebody like, yeah, you didn't do the work. You, you know, you got it because you knew somebody or you got it because you told on somebody. Um, this is the gossip. Okay. The reason you're getting money because you're a whistleblower and everything. <laughs> Hello. How y'all doing? Okay. Isabella. Hey, Asia. We got basket, a lot of money here, a lot of rewards here in y'all reading, Sagittarius, that it's just like people are trying to find ways to take away your goodness and stuff or good things that's coming towards y'all. All right, plentiful. Okay, feast and famine is what I heard too for some of y'all. Recognition again and rewards. Okay, crown, recognition and reward. Y'all have like a bunch of cards of money and rewards here. Well, you know, the alchemist. Okay. So you could have changed the bad situation. You could have been drowning. Somebody could have said that you end up drowning or somebody drowning. Why did I get drowning here? All right. Or somebody fell asleep and passed away or necklace or what is it when people sleep, fall asleep and stuff, or, you know, be um, having near death experience when they sleep and stuff. I can't remember what to call it. Uh, but sleep therapy, y'all could be going under something like that, or you did some type of trial period. People could be gossiping about something that y'all tried that was brand new that never been done before. All right, let's see what's going on. We got here the cane. Pay attention to your health. Everybody got health cards here. All right, <laughs> haystack, and we got the forest. Okay, so some of y'all could have been lost. Okay, spiritually, and people could have been talking about that as well. Also, people are talking about karma in your life. Okay, health wise, something could have happened due to karma. All right. Um, you guys, um, maybe you had a near death experience. A lot of people do. Um, and when they do, they end up changing their life for the better. So you guys could be getting talked about with that situation or somebody close to you almost died or passed away or and people are also gossiping about that. But people say you like paying attention to your health or you need to pay attention to your health either or. And we got here the haystack and stuff. OK, which is karma. So a lot of people are definitely Libra talking about your ass and stuff <laughs> about karma. You will reap what you sow, okay? And we got here muddy and unclear thinking, okay? So there could have been a lot of going on here. I'm hearing like quicksand. <laughs> I don't even know it's mud. You know, quicksand, the more you struggle, the more your ass seek in and shit. Somebody could be talking about um, you're digging your own grave, okay? Or they dug their own grave, either or. So that's what's getting gossiping about. Gossip about. <laughs> I'll be laughing and stuff. <laughs> uh, but anyways, oh my God. So you know what I'm hearing? Amber Alert. Some of y'all may either call somebody with an Amber Alert or was a part of it or a safe house is also what I just heard for some reason. Because um, the forest muddy being lost, okay? Remember I said Goldilocks and the three bears when I first came in here and shit like that? I'm getting a scenario where, you know, y'all was supposed to be lost in something 
um, or somebody did something to make you lost about your health or situation and you found your ways out of this damn labyrinth, okay? People are talking about how you did it. It had to be in God or it had to be in your angel. It had to be somebody to get you out of, of a very terrible situation, okay? People are like, yeah, you got an angel watching after you. I say God watches out the babies and fools and stuff. I think I'm a big ass baby or fool. <laughs> Anyways, I feel like something like that happened as well. Uh, some of y'all may go out into the forest or some of you guys are like really um, activism. OK, when it comes to Mother Nature, what they call it, economists or what it come when people environmentalists, where you want to make sure things are right with the uh, world and trees. OK, it's oxygen, paper or whatever it represents. But I feel like, um, yeah, let's see here. Yeah, elaborate. Yeah, somebody think you are like not clear, but I feel like you actually clear exactly what you need to do. OK, you have gifts and stuff that has been squandered or people be trying to make you feel like you don't know what's going on. You are the missing piece to somebody's life or you have the missing piece to something and you're going to get it as well. So a lot of people got stuff about that. I don't know what's going on with my technology and shit. That's crazy and stuff. <laughs> All right, we got here power symbols. OK, so you guys are like. um. Yeah, you're very powerful, too. I feel like, too, um, if you are creating things new where people cleanse their body and stuff like diet pills or weight loss programs or you are a physical therapist or you're a rehab therapist, people say you are very powerful with your healing because you did have the wounded healer come in here and stuff. So either you're wounded healing or somebody came into your life as a teacher and they could be proud of the seeing you progress as well. They could be like, man, when I first got with Sagittarius or I first hooked up with them, they had a lot of shit going on. I can see the progression. Like somebody seeing you guys progress and get better in life as well. And they're, they're proud of you guys, okay? So there's positive talk here. Cleanse, purify, and protect your physical body. So you loving yourself better. People can see it because your skin could be glowing. Your hair could be looking good, okay? Um, you really taking care of yourself right now. Also, it's like um, you guys can also be doing some type of symbol, making some type of symbol as well, creating a new trend as well with power symbol. <laughs> so you are what they call it, um, trendsetter. So people say you you set trends and stuff and people get on board and they like to follow you as well. <laughs> we have triple spiral. OK, so like people say, damn, you're a triple threat and we got insight. OK, because you know what's going on. <laughs> yes thank you guys for your compliments on my hair how everybody doing we got insight open your third eye to strengthen your intuition so a lot of people say you see clearly now okay or you have done the spiritual work and now you see okay um you could notice people auras and everything triple spire listen to divine listening to divine wisdom and joyfully learning life lessons okay so you're happy okay <laughs> all right whatever i just got that spinner okay so you might have some nice wheels or you like spinners and stuff or you like to do pop the wheelie and stuff i'm hearing i'm seeing somebody that like do tricks on the bike you could be in a circus or you may like going to circus or performing um tricks and stuff like um uh, for people magic okay i'm trying to get the words out all right so if you do any of that uh, people like it okay you're an excellent performer yeah so y'all like tripling and something okay or something is growing in y'all life and people see it and they talking about this as well all right so the high priestess okay so pisces uh, a lot of people secretly watch y'all and talk about y'all all right, so we have here teachers, art, science, knows the secret thoughts of all and can change them, causes love and shows the vision of the world. Oh, my goodness. So some people think you and they thoughts like I could have swore like you'll be about to say something and or somebody be about to say something and you finish a sentence or something like that. You people may get that a lot from you. Like people may feel like you read their thoughts. A lot of people gossip about how like how did you know that? OK, how did you see the future or your prophecies or pro, um, prophetic or something? And people like, damn, Sagittarius called that shit out. And they seeing it manifesting in like Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, High Priestess. Okay. I don't know if people even tell y'all this and stuff, but we do got the crown and we do got honor and respect coming towards y'all. So there's a, there could be something coming in and people are going to be talking about it. Okay. That you deserved it. The six of ones was like your outcome with a lot of people discussing you guys. So you could be coming, like you could be people heroes, their motivational speaker, okay? Somebody they look up to, but it's like behind the scenes, like, yeah. 
I'm I'm following your your advice. <laughs> ah, and if y'all like a stylist, okay, or you a trendsetter again, it could be a Libra that's gossiping about y'all, okay, and they checking y'all ass out like who that Sagittarius over there. <laughs> I'm hearing the Devil Wears Prada, and I'm hearing Corella Deville for y'all. So somebody could feel like <laughs> y'all ass is like something else and stuff, but they're like, mm, I like them, okay, a little bit devious, okay. Uh, but we have here, so there's a divorce or there's a marriage or there's something that you got out of select. There could be a legal case that, you know, you dominated into. So if you like took somebody to the ringer, this is being discussed with the Libra energy too. Y'all enemies are becoming y'all fans too, because Libra rules open enemy. But a lot of people are looking at y'all like the ideal person, like, oh yeah, what's up Sagittarius? Okay. How you doing? All right. So somebody could be talking about, they want to come in and Create a business partnership with y'all or an actual relationship. Like I'm trying to figure out how I can get a ring on it. Remember, it say the box you'll be receiving a gift. Okay, so there could be somebody secretly planning to propose to you, high priestess, with the Libra energy, and um, they could be telling other people. Okay, they want to surprise you. I, I can't be surprised, or I don't like to be surprised. So I'm too damn nosy and shit. I be thinking of every different scenario that it can be, and then boom. Okay, <laughs> I mean. You can surprise me, but I don't like surprises and stuff because I'd be like, me, no. Uh, somebody could be trying to figure out how they could surprise y'all because with the high priest, it's almost like they say knows the man, knows the thought of somebody. So somebody feel like it's really hard to catch you off guard, okay? This is what somebody gossiping about as well. I'm not saying you can't be caught off guard, but it said you know a lot of shit here. And we have here, somebody also like the way you speak as well. Somebody think you're very graceful. Or um, somebody is also saying they see that you grown and stuff in grace. If you was like not taking time to do this, somebody say you choosy. People also say that you pick and choose who your friends are. Some people could also have gossip. You could have a strong Libra placement here or this a Libra that, you know, you were once a people pleaser. But now you have healthy boundaries. You set boundaries with people. You know when to tell people fucking no. OK, because um, this is the energy, especially if you like a wounded healer. People come in because they know you empathetic and they always pulling on your energy. So you guys have finally learned the lesson here. And somebody like I'm proud of you. You know, you growing up, you know how to say no. Pluto, Capricorn, you could have to tell your boss this or something. It could have been a boss that was trying to control you that you had to get in their ass about. I right, read Pluto and Capricorn. A lot of people have seen you guys go through tremendous change when it comes to getting what you want. Some of y'all have reached y'all goal, lofty ideals and stuff that y'all going after, and you gonna people are gonna see this. All right, so you the boss here. Okay, some people say you ruthless, okay, in the business. <laughs> um, but they call it every pun intended okay i feel like too no man left behind like y'all don't waste no time some people say when it comes to this it's like you are a shark okay you get the job done with the capricorn energy but i do feel like if somebody was like bossing you around and stuff you had to put an end to something with pluto and transformation you dead at something or somebody end up like fat flatlining is what i'm hearing okay like uh Somebody drop dead, Fred, okay? With the Pluto energy, renewal, and the resources. Some of y'all was at the brink of bankruptcy or you did file for bankruptcy. Um, chapter 7 or 13, I don't know which one y'all did. If somebody could be talking about that and you've made a major comeback. Now you're on top of some shit, okay? Or you're going to be making a major comeback. Some of y'all may see this in uh, the end of the year, depending on where you're at in life, okay? People are talking about the transformations that are all the cycles in your life that y'all been through and how you came out of some stuff. There's vultures around waiting to get y'all position or waiting to have y'all spouse because the seven of pentacles is your husband and your wife and the Capricorn energy is you sitting on some type of position. People are talking about um, it's only a matter of time either before you lose that good person that you with or you lose your position. These people are like plying on y'all downfall with that Pluto transformation energy. I told y'all uh, uh, Nancy to see her, but you guys see all right <laughs> sage of ones okay so y'all see <laughs> all right y'all sears and stuff okay so the mandela effect some people are trying to erase y'all memory or somebody could have talked about somebody um wow you got amnesia from abuse and stuff okay the temporary insanity for some of y'all as well somebody could have said you completely lost your mind you went off the rockers but you back okay and you better and stuff but um it's a lot going on in these cars as well some of you guys remember something too from your past life. 
Somebody also gossiping about how you guys cannot have kids, or that's that's that also that family tree, okay, where you won't be able to reproduce something because that's what somebody was somebody's trying to take you guys off physically. Somebody was trying to make sure you never have any resources, and somebody was trying to make sure you never reproduce and stuff with that Scorpio energy, um, the Pluto. But if uh, somehow you guys came through, or you are seeing somebody playing and you're making sure you change it. All right, you got master. Wow, sage of world. Okay, so yeah, uh, yeah. Wow, so you guys are really like this is y'all energy. Okay, <laughs> so you seeing something? Okay, um, is that rumple steel skin? What's about the weaving? Okay, yeah, something that was uh, weaving in y'all future and stuff. I'm trying to remember what that shit was and stuff with the pinwheel, but it was massive, ma ma maleficent. When that guy betrayed her and cut her rings off and shit. So somebody could have did some shit like that to y'all. Y'all lover could have fucked y'all over really bad. And people could be talking about this as well. Ooh, um, somebody could say that you like kids. You want to adopt babies and stuff. Even if you don't have kids, you could be a youth counselor or something like this. Um, something really terrible happened to you guys. But you turned around and made it something beautiful. Okay, the transformation. All right, the, this is the point of inception and stuff. You guys like somebody could have tried to accept something from y'all or take something from y'all or set y'all up here. It's all being discussed as well. She's like weaving together a basket synergy. Okay, six of world, six of pentacles. Also, people like vibe with y'all. Some of y'all are gonna get back with a um, or some of y'all are with a twin plant or y'all with somebody. I'm getting Scorpio energy very strong here, and then I'm getting a Kreis as well. We got here. Uh, integrity, yeah. People are pissed off because they can't um, make you do something immoral or something. You know, you rule honesty here. All right, we got uh, nine of ones and we got the six of worlds coming through. So people definitely are talking about how you have traveled the world. People's um, uh, gossip about your visions are grand. And if you have a beautiful home, I'm here like mansion, or if you are architecture or you are anything like a blueprint or you drawing something up, People are like, they vibing with your shit. They liking it as well. But people, what they love most about y'all, what they talk about is how you have mastered your energy and how you became a boss and stuff as well here. Some type of door opening up for y'all. All right. They say in order to build a straight uh, a skyscraper, you must dig six feet into the ground. OK, so, yeah, y'all have been through the dirt or you had like really dig yourself out of a bad situation. People see this and stuff. People respect you because they see you as a master too here. All right, we got here negativity. Yeah, here comes somebody that's want to be mad and shit. There's a lot of jealousy here too because you broke through something as well. I'm hearing like a Rubik's cube, okay, or some type of box and shit that people were trying to put you in. Um, you broke through it with the uh, five of crystals, which is like jealousy, hate, envy, the five of swords, really, okay. Five of crystal. That, that they mad and stuff. So <laughs> whoever this air sign, do not leave her crazy. Or this uh Leo, whoever this was that was trying to take y'all ass down is Virgo. All right, this Taurus, they pissed off that they can keep y'all down. Okay. Ain't nobody gonna say me. I'm <laughs> We got inventors. Some of y'all invented something too. Man of crystals, okay? So yeah, somebody is also trying to steal y'all vision, okay? Or this could be like discrimination and stuff. Um, you still surviving through all of that shit, okay? Where one door closed, another one open. You guys have found a way to open a new door when everybody shut the doors on you guys or everybody told you you couldn't do it and stuff. If you have invented something, I'm telling y'all, trendsetter, okay, people love it, okay? You are the inventor of something. We got here courage, okay, for willpower, okay? Somebody underestimated your will to stand your ground, to get what you want, okay? To be the tribal leader, okay? <laughs> Seven of ones, <laughs> we got here. All right, so people like, damn. So y'all blocking a lot of people out. A lot of people that you block is running their mouth about y'all, period, okay? Some people can't get inside the first house and stuff as well. Are you guys been welcome into a certain sector or group and people are upset about that too? We got Sagittarius, okay? <laughs> All right, so some of y'all going somewhere or y'all cruising and stuff. Somebody could, if y'all post anything online where y'all headed at, people like where y'all visit, they like. You guys could be photographers, okay, or photographers. I just got that with the pictures. 
pictures, okay? So you guys are photogenic. People think you take really good pictures or you're a really good landscaper or you know how to set the scene, okay? People are talking about that. Um, you have an eye for taste or you have an eye for beauty and people see this about you guys. So it's like something is happening, okay? So some of y'all need y'all passport um, as well. I always get this dual citizenship sometime where you have two. There's somebody that's opposing y'all ideals, though. They mad and stuff. So somebody's irritated because they were trying to be you or they were projecting their own insecurities on y'all. Um, yeah. I, also, I'm hearing a spa. Like, if you guys, like, invented a spa or a retreat or you went on a retreat, somebody's gossiping about that um, with the hot rocks and stuff like that or a happy ending and stuff like that. You know what a happy ending is? Uh, ending is? <laughs> Some of you guys got good reflexes as well, too. Your reflex way too cold for somebody to sneak up on you and do something. So you, your agility is what people are talking about. Like, damn, you know, I'm way too cold for that. So y'all quick, y'all slick with something. <laughs> so somebody was doing something, but you caught it in time. We got the seven house, okay? A relationship, okay? Um, Yeah, you know how to relate. It's a Libra, though, okay? Your partner. All right, so y'all seven house. Somebody also was trying to get you uh, out of something, all right, but you sealed the deal or you got the contract, okay, um, before somebody can take that from you as well. Somebody could be holding a long high school grudge on you, some shit that happened seven years ago, and um, now they see the opportunity to get revenge on you guys, and they slow down. So somebody, um, somebody tried to stop something. But somebody like you and you got the partnership or you're going to get the partnership to seal the deal before somebody can like talk bad, ill will or recommend you or reprimand you for a job or something like that. Hello. How you doing? Be um, Bohemian goddess and en entrenchers. How you doing? I'm like, what the hell? <laughs> Welcome. OK, so it's a uh, Aries that you rejected or you guys are manifesting a missed opportunity back to y'all. The magician in the four of cups, somebody like, what's up? How you doing? Let's get this. OK, the seven of cups, the hermit and the page of cups. Some of y'all, too, somebody's watching your back and stuff because they know that there's a snake behind y'all. It could be a Capricorn. OK, some of y'all got uh, out of a very toxic, abusive relationship. But we got the seven of cups, the hermit. You see how the hermit looking at that snake and the page of cups is like, <laughs> all right, so like a bunch of shit going on behind your back, but you see the snake for what it is. Somebody's like trying to befriend you, but it's a false friendship and everything. So if something is telling y'all to ghost the situation, so somebody could be playing stupid. They don't know why y'all ghosted them, but y'all ghosted their asses because they, um, they dirty and stuff. Yeah, this person is like full of shit. And this, um, the all spirit is saying, remove yourself from this person. It could be a Virgo, a Scorpio, or a Pisces and stuff. Yeah, something that's slick here. Somebody slick here too. And for me, this is also you guys discovering somebody could have tendency to like younger people, okay? And you're like, mm, I'm going to decide to go a different way because to me, that don't look good with the snake, with the page of cups and stuff. And the page of cups always represents either a friendship or young people and stuff. Yeah, so somebody could have a shady background. Now, somebody could be saying this about y'all. The reason you ghosted them because they found out that you were doing some shady shit behind their back. Um, you were either trying to make a friendship with their best friend or somebody saying you slept with their best friend here, seven of cups. There's confusion around here as well. Somebody's doing illusion magic, but they saying that you're a part of it. You're the reason why they separated. It's like a warning in here too. Sevens are spiritual um, paths. So something was spiritually, karmically meant to occur in y'all reading and somebody, either somebody don't understand the reason they're getting karma is because they screwed you over or vice versa. Somebody said the reason you getting karma, Sagittarius, is because you screwed them over with the seven of cups showing up here for y'all and people that's what they be saying empowerment yeah somebody just want to knock you off your stone so if you have changed your life around somebody doesn't want you to believe that you are uh, powerful you are strong and you are better now you could be starting a movement and this could be in any area okay women's for rights gay rights okay black rights it don't matter what empowerment you started if you started something okay if you're a shaker and a mover a lot of people like 
pissed off and they confused that why you doing this a lot of people are upset because you are calling snakes off for who they are you calling people out you could be co combining with somebody that got like a lot of um power and stuff or to put you on to something as well but you guys are being empowered people are talking about this as well are you standing up for what you believe in fighting for your rights as well is something like this human rights is something that could be going on like attorney general like this shit could be political too okay so <laughs> i mean it could get deeper in that like people could be talking about you guys was arguing about you know republican versus democrat and stuff and shit just got crazy and stuff i mean this breaks friendships up they said that's why you don't discuss religion politics or your sex life or your love life some things that that should not be discussed because it, it destroys friendship or it lets you know what people truly want and what true uh, also somebody is like um saying y'all hire a detective to catch them in an the act or something um but when this person started looking in your background and they realized what you were really uh um doing you know you could have had some type of hand project this person respects y'all now because somebody didn't know what you were fighting for what you were doing and they like, oh, no, no, Sagittarius actually like they for the people or they have something they need to say and stuff, you know, because sometimes people get to looking and being nosy and then they realize that what you're doing is for a good cause and stuff as well. And so somebody could be changing their attitude or changing their position based on the information they find out about you. But they are telling somebody they could be telling like a group of people with the seven of cups and a little group um, about what you're doing. And um, this, if this is an investor with the Scorpio energy or this is Cal capital that you guys want um somebody there's a snitch in the group too okay so some of you guys are gonna realize the reason why you didn't get funded for something is because somebody didn't like you okay so it could have been six people that say yay we want to invest in Sagittarius and it, this could be jury duty too okay so if you was found guilty it's because somebody didn't like you personally okay it was a snake a snitch or somebody in the group out of the seven it was one that said no with the seven of cups but Scorpio usually represents other people money fund and shit like that um or somebody was like game to do the surgery game to help you guys uh change something but it was one person that's uh declined the offer this was being discussed about y'all if y'all don't know this is what somebody talking about okay <laughs> they're like why did sagittarius get that funding okay they could be looking at why something didn't go through for you why you want to prove for something and then they realize who it was as well y'all might discover this too it could have been a scorpio uh virgo and a Pisces, okay, they could have been working in cahoots that said no to something that you were doing that would have been good for like a lot of people and stuff, or would have been good for your business with empowerment coming through. Because to me, shit, you're empowering the people, like right, the sun. Yeah, y'all gonna get in line, okay, Leo. This could have been for the kids, the youth, okay. You need an equipment for your kids that the you're a college professor, you're a grade school teacher, you need funding to get the kids school books or whatever. It was one person that told said no to you y'all shit but you should have had it all right guys please drop a like share and come and take care y'all so y'all essence is showing through and y'all gonna realize something and something's gonna be simple too something's gonna be made simple with the sun card it's not that hard and stuff life gets easier talk to you guys soon bye-bye life is better with you